in the CIT. We've got our today. own Christmas tree, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we if do. If you follow today's cooking guest on social media, then this recipe might not be a huge surprise. No, to you. we are cooking up a storm with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Jacob, you are a huge Christmas tree. Fan. I'm the little Debbie version. I, I don't think I'm the only one here, though, am I? No. No, Guilty. Heather. <laughs> yeah. Heather has been eyeing these Christmas trees since the second we walked in the studio. Like I don't know what it is about them, but they are just—they're so good. Yes. They taste like Christmas. Yes. And Christmas season starts when they come out. Some people say you have to wait till Thanksgiving. No. We'll take like a three-day hiatus on Thanksgiving. Okay, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and then we'll resume the Saturday. Uh, but before and after. Totally I think we Christmas. need to open one for her just yes. so it's ready to go. I mean, if the, you've got them sitting there, why there's not? a plan. Of you don't. Them, you so. don't need this for the oh, recipe. Oh, thanks. Yeah. thanks. So, okay. Yeah, we've got plenty of them here to make, and of course we got the the vanilla or the the original one, but the chocolate ones too. I have never seen chocolate. Well, maybe we'll have to let you try one okay. of those after. Then I'll, then I'll just try the tip of the tree here. A Jennifer Roscoe size bite. Uh huh. Yeah. You want some? Uh, yes, but I can get my own. There's oh, more. That's true. That's true. There's yeah, so we're going to turn this into actually a fun dip also. You know, a holiday dip? dip. Yeah, we're going to make a dip out of it, and that way you can dip in crackers or mm. cookies or anything like that. I'm so something a little more fun for, you know, you can set these out, but, let, you know, it looks great, but that's for a snack at work or whatever. Oh, they're so good. But you put it in a nice bowl and have it for the holidays here. It's going to be great. So we got to put five of these into our little mixing Let me help here. you. Sure, of course. She's going to take a bite out of every one of them. I'm going to eat the tree while you guys yeah, do that. So we're doing the work. So we're going to drop five trees inside my mixing bowl. Here, and if you've got a, a, a food processor, that works too. How many uh, more? One more. One more. Yep, and then uh, so we got five of them in there, and that's going to be our start for our Christmas tree okay. base. There, well, the other things we're going to do is we've got some cool whip, and I just bought the frozen version and mixed it up a little bit. We're going to dump an eight ounce tub of it in there, and I'm going to mix it all at one time here. Some people say you have to wait in the cool whip, I'm just going to do it all at once because simplicity, simplicity. They simplicity. say you have to what? You wait on the cool whip until the end, but I'm going to oh. put it all at one time here. Okay, so we'll set yeah. that aside. I'll we're also going to do a block of cream cheese in there. And so this uh, is an incredibly healthy dip is what oh, we're saying. Oh, very healthy. I like it's, it. It's, uh, you know, all the, the Christmas spirit you need, that's true. I'm going to put a little bit of milk, about a third of a cup there. i got to eyeball it. I left my measuring cup at home. Whoops. Oh, but, you, know, you got this. That's right. So that's going to be our base to our dip right now. We're going to garnish it later because uh, the bowl doesn't look quite as good as the tree itself, does it? So yeah. later what we're going to do is we're going to add our own sprinkles and our own decorating gel on top. Right? Okay. So, so we're going to make it look like that. But we got to mix it. A dessert dip. This is a dessert, definitely a dessert dip. Don't yep. serve this so, as an appetizer. So like most dips, you're like, okay, we're going to get a tortilla chip or, or something. But what are we using to dip this? Well, I've got lots of different options. So graham crackers work great. Vanilla wafers are awesome. But sometimes this can be a little sweet for some people. Um, my Can't mom. imagine why. <laughs> yeah. And so, we're, you know, I've got pretzels with it. Pretzel sticks oh, or something like that good. to add a little saltiness to it. And so okay. you can see it mixing up in the mixture there. Uh, coming along, really, you know, mix it up a little bit. And that thing's just going to mix until it's nice and, and pureed. If you do a processor, they say to puree it. If you have little chunks of it in there, like the Christmas would, tree cake ice cream. Right? I have little not chunks of the cake. found that yet. Where have you found that? I found it at the end camps at Walmart's. And Walmart's Wait, the only brand Christmas that Christmas tree ice cream? Yes. Ice cream, yes. I have not had this. You know, kind of like the cake shakes you get at um, Portillo's? That's right. It would right. be like that if you have the little chunks still yeah. left in there. So I've got uh, about four or five of those little tubs in my freezer so i'll be making some milkshakes soon too but of course right now i'm eating the cakes while they're fresh the ice cream can last for a few few months oh, in the yeah. freezer or longer so next summer i may be coming on and doing cake shakes so i need to lift this up here and what we're going to do is we're going to keep this going tim's eating the rest mm -hmm. of that cake yeah you know, I gotta mix it off the the. Did you there. come up with this recipe yourself? Well, there's actually been a lot of people online who have been sending me this, and I made it last year. Oh. I did, but I didn't have the cooking segment last year. And it took a little time before they let yeah. me come on here. Um, <laughs> I had to prove myself with the chili cook-off. Well, or was. with the, all the crock pot. That's true, which was great. probably yeah. made in. Chili was made in that too, right? That's uh, yeah. yeah, and you know, it's nice, Heather. Right? I don't have a crock pot. I don't have a mason jar, do I? No. So. so this is fantastic. We are disappointed, right. but we will anxiously await next time. <laughs> right. So we'll have this mix, and we're going to uh, set it in a bowl, and we'll prep it for the later, and you guys get to try okay. it. Sounds okay. Okay. We definitely well. will try it. In and the meantime, we will keep eating these Christmas trees, <laughs> and we will send you to our website, where you can find Jacob Dickey's Facebook page, including this entire recipe, at ciliving.tv. Or if you want to go to Jacob's Facebook page directly, you can get it there as well.